Hello guys, this is Oxman, gonna bring you the third part of my operation, Sierra. So, um, the first video, explain a little bit about editing, the second, the insertion, and this is going to be the first objective. Last time I had an issue with a script, which didn't work, I have now changed it. These are three triggers connected to every group that I want in the, the game, or for the player. So basically, Bravo connects to this. It says Bravo 1 is true. That's a variable. Same with Alpha and Charlie. So three variables that have been checked right here. In brackets, Alpha 1 and brackets, Bravo 1 and Charlie 1 in brackets. And that starts a script called start SQF. And, um, Basically, that's it, and that's start SQF. I'll show you later. Um, this is the first objective. Basically, I've been working a little bit on uh, my planning and uh, what I want to do. But basically, I placed small patrols right around every building to populate some stuff. Here's two sentries on our roof, some cover, wooden crates. Um, and that's basically it. There's not much resistance here. There is an insurgent camp that is um, that's a dishka, and that is the heavy power uh, that you have to uh, well mind. Um, you can go up here and shoot down. Uh, maybe you do uh, order your support squad, but this is a very exposed area. And if you want to go to cover and flank, you will run into it in surgeon camps and uh, this is shown on the map because we have UAV footage of everything so basically I'm trying to point out all the uh, stuff Um I've just placed units and basically what I want to do is I want to make a simple simple trigger which checks that every op4 in this area is dead or not present and um, if they flee that works too so right we have up for not present. That covers the whole area. I don't want to cover this camp because this will not be a. This will be an optional optional uh, mission. Uh, if you want to take out that camp, you do that. Otherwise, you just keep on going. And uh, well, that's it. Uh, the second objective. That's right here. Just objective whiskey. Uh, there's two MG nests which I've marked bunker 2 and bunker 1 uh, there's two scripts here or oh, one script actually uh, this is RESQF that is part of the artillery script that Wally created for me uh, a while, while back ago and basically I use it now today and um, I've also used it in two other videos which is artillery on the ground and frigate artillery which covers grad artillery that would be um, rocket artillery and then we have the M119 the howitzer and um, basically we have M1 and M2 they are gonna fire up in the air towards this town and just shoot randomly in here it does have a half click radius so it's gonna be very random um, but that's just for show uh, the objective is to clear objective whiskey and take out the mortars so when you get in this area they're gonna start firing and then you'll see that huge smoke coming out of this mortar so you'll know where they are and uh, often when when you've been ordered to destroy the mortars when you hear the mortars fire you wanna you, know, you wanna go quick you don't wanna wait around you just wanna push right in and um, that's what you'll do uh, I have a check here with left hug so this is very open after objective janky uh, there's a little bit of cover right here but I don't think you'd wanna go right into the MG nest otherwise you can follow this little shingle here and then um, move up and flank that works too and you can move through the fields but then you'll have to clear the insurgent camp to avoid being shot at from these guys but um, yeah that's basically all I've uh, done so far. 
the objective and obje uh, objective whiskey will only be to destroy these guys uh, all these weapons so I'm gonna do a check for that two triggers are needed or well one is needed actually alive M1 and M2 that checks that M1 and M2 is destroyed and that will basically just start a uh, whatever I want I'll make a script later that checks that objectives have been done and then moves them to other objectives uh, the same thing I used in Operation Flash makes it a lot easier to uh, fix scripts and you don't have a like a huge line doing all those kind of things in uh, the trigger basically just makes it easier to transfer from uh, uh, mission to mission so you can use it on many missions basically that's what I do I often don't want to create new scripts all the time so I copy paste them from my other missions and I often make them viable for all missions because uh, of using selections in scripts and that's basically uh, I'll explain that but a quick note um, you send in information to the script uh, so it, the script itself is not fixed you can still change some variables and um, you know that's um, what it does um, right now let's see we'll check the objective first objective we'll see check the second objective what we do have now is the last objective and I'm not gonna do this in this tutorial but I'll describe you what we're gonna do and what you have to look forward to basically the player and his team is gonna move to an overwatch position hat right here and it's gonna be a 43rd airborne battalion and that is part of the Czech army uh, check that out using Wikipedia to give us more realism and basically there's gonna be a a lot of um, ACR special forces teams so basically I'm gonna put these guys right on hold another fire stealth and then I want them to move so full aware line formation hold fire engage at will and then in the end I want them to just open fire and engage as well and search that area so there we go now I want this mission or this little attack to be bulletproof I don't want the, the AI to fail so I'll send quite a lot of units but uh, the players job then is to just engage that town and distract the enemy uh, so the guys right here won't fail with the attack so I'm gonna make a new trigger attack that's a variable so we check that the attack variable has been done and we change the type to switch and we synchronize them all to hold waypoints that way when the attack is triggered all these guys are gonna move let's give it a try radio alpha attack crew and uh, make a independent PMC no let's go unit for once there you go I'm just gonna show you how this is very simple stuff anyway so basically they just sit tight they don't do anything and they basically we have the objective right there oh I don't think I have enough oh, crap crap view distance I have 10,000. That means I have a shitload of fog. Which is. Yeah. So let's do radio alpha. People will start moving. You can see. They're on full. Attack is on the way. This is not a very professional attack because it's more like a. I don't know. Soviet charge. They may just run towards that objective. Open ground and all. But we have US Marine Corps players defending or engaging that town. So basically, there will be a lot of fire. And now they have started engaging themselves. There's a vehicle there. And they just lost a guy. Two guys. 
three, four. These guys are not very good. They've lost more than that. Well, these guys suck. <laughs> oh lord. They've lost so many guys. Can't imagine. How did this happen? The M60. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, they failed with their attack because they, uh, well, were out in the open. But um, we'll make sure that they won't fail. So they'll have a. I'll move these guys up north. That way they'll do a little flanking move. Um, hopefully that's going to work. And let's do one team from the west as well. So basically. Um, right, I need, um, then I'll just change this to, um, uh, first section, copy paste that, second, that way you'll, you know, not engage friendly forces, that way, um, you know, you inform the player that, shit, you have friendlies out there. Watch your fire. There you go. And this is all going to be in the um, briefing itself, so it should be good. Right, so I've done this objective kind of, <laughs> even though I wasn't going to do it. But um, that's all I've done now. It's basically just small, small, small scripts. And the simpler you do things, the easier they're going to get to fix. Um, I haven't changed this one. This is a hole. This should be one of my reaction forces. I want them to uh, help this uh, this little base here. So I'm going to do a another trigger. This is gonna be a 200, not 300. Right. So it's spread out. Uh, I want the blue fall detected by op fall, and a switch. And we'll connect that to this thing. There we go. So now, when uh, the op four in this area has detected um, the player, uh, they or any blue four at all, they will move and uh, support these guys. And that's a full team that stops five groups of special forces. So they are kind of good, and it's good reinforcement. Anyway, um, I believe this is gonna be it for now I'm gonna show you next video I'm gonna show you all the scripts which I've um, uh, created I'll uh, put them down in the description um, what the names are and what you will expect and basically I'm just gonna check that you know all the scripts are running and then basically when this is done I'm gonna do that objective thing and this needs to be done start SQF the objective objective and well lots of objectives uh, I'm gonna think about more things that can happen to the player maybe a um, mortar strike around here when you take it or something like that um, stay tuned for that please uh, like the video and subscribe I'll turn out.